Louisiana Beer Reviews presents Han Blut Beer with Hemp Leaves and Hemp Flowers. Here's Appenzeller Han Blut. And you see the people picking the hemp over there in Switzerland. Uh, this was sent to me by Shane Fudge of Arkansas. Thank you, Shane. Han Blut. In the olden days, hemp was used as well as hops to flavor beer in Europe. With the Appenzeller Hamflut, that means organic, I think, we have renewed this time-honored tradition. The result is a natural beer with distinctive flavor. And it was introduced in 1997. This was bottled on December 22, 2017 at 1600 hours, 40 minutes, and 4 seconds. It's got the date, guys. And uh, ingredients are spring water. Malted barley, hops, yeast, hemp leaves, and hemp flowers. Um, the refrigerator's going off. Let me see if I can shut the door. Kind of block that noise. The microphone in this camera is very sensitive. My original 2010 camera was very not sensitive. The microphone was very bad. Non-filtered beer, 5.2% alcohol, 330 milliliter bottle. In other words, 11.2 ounces. It's a one-way bottle, not returnable. Uh, there is a big 500 milliliter returnable bottle, they said. Green label. Green glass, I mean. Uh, they use Viennese malt and Stamheim hops. Beer Advocate says it's okay, a 68. Now, to me, that would be like bad, a D, but a D plus, but that's me. Rape Beer says 21 out of 100 and a 29 out of 100 for the style, so... Horrible and pretty horrible. And then Untapped says 66 out of 100. So everybody's saying it ain't good. But I don't know. I never had a twist cap. Thank you, Shane, again. <sighs> Thank you again, Shane. <laughs> okay, they're showing a similar type glasses. Anheuser-Busch tasting glass, but they're showing a style like this. Lots of smoke. Ooh. Well, it's cloudy as you'd expect. It's unfiltered. And it's orange gold. No, not orange gold. Just like gold and bubbly with the etched bottom. All right. Beer's not even four months old, and it came all the way from Europa. That beer is so spicy. <laughs> And the aroma, I mean, is incredible. What is this? It smells like... Mm. Herbs. Yeah, they say on rape beer, it's an herb slash spice slash vegetable beer. And that's what it smells like. Herbs and spices. Like potpourri. You know what it smells like? pumpkin head from shipyard i think i just went to the i remember i was on a hangout with tom the beer whisperer and uh um john sharon and i think dave coulter and uh dale roberts and the gang back in 2013 and we were doing pumpkin head shipyard pumpkin head i said oh and scott white and i said it smells and tastes like the spice aisle at cost plus Cost plus world market, and they all busted out laughing because that's what it this smells like, and that's what pumpkin head smells like. One of those spice brooms at cost plus world market. Okay, so it, it's it's okay if you like pumpkin head now. Taste. Oh, and no skunk. Same thing, like super spicy. It's going to be your preference. If you don't like a spice beer, you're going to hate it. Or you'll dislike it, at least. If you like spice beers, you might like it. So let's go into the flavors. And this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Um, some pale malt water. Get a watery taste. It's not a bad taste. It's just like nice, clean water. And spices of some sort and variety, okay? Indistinguishable, but very spicy. Herbal, okay? Herbal. Mm. Uh, 
it's light to medium body and it's a there's a crisp finish okay um i don't ever think to myself oh man i want to try a spice beer but really most beers are spice with what hops hops are the spice of beer low ibus very little spice note high ibus obviously a lot of spicy resinous bitterness and there's so many di different types of hops so you get different experiences from the tropical fruity to the piney bitter or the grassy bitter but this has that in all the other things you know these other indistinguishable spices hemp i don't know i'm not one to like fool with hemp a lot i uh, have dealt with a natural rope a tough rope um Spring water, yeah, it does taste like that. Malted barley, hops, yeast, hemp leaves, and hemp flowers. Well, uh, I think it's getting bad scores because maybe some people have a tick issue with Switzerland. <laughs> they don't like the Swiss. And more than likely, it's because they don't like spiced beer. And I can live without the herbal spice beers, but this is good. I remember they had the one that didn't use hops at all, the one, the, uh, the Freoch from uh, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Wouldn't want to drink it all the time, but it was a very interesting beer. Very well made. This is very well made. Saying it's a 21 out of 100 is terrible. I think it's a terrible score. There's only a few ratings anyway, though. Untap has thousands. Rape Beer and Beer Advocate have over a dozen, but less than 20. Um, nobody wants to write a long thought out review anywhere they want to go. Click, doom, got my badge, got my badge. And that's important to some people. Um, yeah, um, I'll say A minus. It's like an excellent to an extent beer. Uh, it's just different. Everything don't have to be everything, you know, everything does not have to be like everything else. Nice little low profile lacing. I'm glad I tried it. And I'm so lucky that Shane sent this to me. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. I'm so much luckier than you. <laughs> um, and some of y'all know where that's coming from. Anyway, thank you for watching this video production. Les Les Bontemps Relay. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>